I've always been passionate about the work I do in caring, but I just really see the value in nutrition. It is primary health. It's about everybody's lives. Everybody has something that they deal with around food, so it's a common language. Food is really the gateway to health. That was the Director of Food and Nutrition and Clinical Services at Washington Hospital Healthcare System, Kimberly Alvary, shedding light on the value of nutrition. However, the WHO noted that there is currently a new nutrition reality. It is a reality where undernutrition such as micronutrient deficiencies, stunting and wasting, overweight, obesity, and diet-related non-communicable diseases like diabetes and cancer now coexist in the same countries, communities, households, and even individuals. This, according to the WHO, is called the double burden of malnutrition, which impacts not only one's health, but also the health of the planet and economies. Their video production raises awareness on the double burden of malnutrition and its drivers. We live in a world where undernutrition and obesity can exist side by side in the same country, home or even person. Foods high in sugars, salt and or unhealthy fats are leading to unhealthy diets and are one reason why children may not be growing healthily while causing other people to develop overweight or obesity. The consumption of unhealthy diets is heavily influenced by marketing. Easy access is fueling this new nutrition reality, but thankfully, change towards a healthier future is possible. By having a sustainable healthy diet made up of a variety of foods that are safe for consumption, we can promote health and have better abilities to fight illness. How do we do this? Good nutrition for women during pregnancy and for children in their first 1,000 days of life, including breastfeeding, sets them up for healthy adulthood and future generations. We should eat more fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, pulses, nuts and seeds, and less sugary drinks and foods high in sugars, salt and unhealthy fats. The less of these foods we buy, the more the food industry will be encouraged to produce foods that contribute to healthy diets. It has been documented that nutrition is considered a primary therapy because not only is it the foundation of many treatment plans, it is a building block of a healthy lifestyle. From diabetes to heart disease, experts say the effects of serious medical conditions can be managed, mitigated, or even prevented with good nutrition. Krista Campbell, GBN News.